Hey guys, what is up here with uh, the Caboose Project, uh, bringing you guys today a decent tutorial on probably the best chicken farm that you can make, really. It's pretty, it's a decent design, I came up with it on my own, It, I really enjoy it, so pretty much all you're going to need to do to make this is you're going to need a comparator, a decent amount of bricks, or any building block you have. A uh, decent amount of hoppers and two dispensers. Yes. Here's how to make a comparator. Just three stone, torches, nether quartz, stone brick, hopper, and dispenser. So what you're gonna do to create this is you're gonna wanna have your base. Cause as you saw on my um on the server I was playing on, I screwed up on the uh, design. It wasn't really that efficient. Well it was it was efficient, but it was the, there wasn't as much room as I had I needed to work with so you're gonna want to probably make this a little bit off the ground so to make this you're going to do right now is you're gonna need to set up the area where the chickens will be breeding or yes just where you want your chickens to come in so you're gonna take Jackson I don't think you I'm gonna make this thing even right here so you can just walk up some steps Let's make it about this tall so we have room to work with. Say I want a platform to stand on right here. Oops. Now, I'm going to want my chickens to be behind this glass wall. And you're going to want to be careful not to break it because I did that before when I was trying to build this on my single player. And a lot of chickens flew out. Like There was a lot of chickens. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have this here. Oh, you're also going to need a um, half slab to put in the center here there for the chickens when they spawn. They're not going to uh, fly everywhere. So if I put a slab into here. Um, what do I not here right now? Okay. Let's just put a slab here. Glass. And then what you're going to want to do after you have that is there's a couple different ways you can set this up. I personally like having a comparator here. So comparator. And then you're going to want with the um, these things, you're going to want them facing each other so they look like that. Now what you're going to want to do is say I want my button. This is where I want my button, say right there. So I'm going to take, it's recommended with a wooden button. I don't know why, but I guess stone buttons don't work. I mean, I guess you could try, but I, I haven't tested it yet, but I just heard stone bucket buttons won't work. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to put the lava bucket inside this dispenser. And there, when I have this, I put a random item in here and I push this button. It'll have a two tick pulse which will set the lab out and this will only burn adult chickens see all the baby chickens will be standing on that slab all the adult chickens will be just tall enough to get killed by the lava so you're just going to want to fill in over here so you can just see your kill button and just copy the other side just so it looks even after you have that you're going to want to start working on the back side to it decorate this any way you like doesn't matter go I for illusion server name and then after you have this you're gonna want a spot where all of your chickens are going to end up going and with the slab you're gonna want all the items to drop down in like, when items drop with this slab it will pick up any item that gets dropped in there for instance I will throw in this chest it picked it up disappeared now if I go down here and look in this hopper it's in here so what you're gonna want to do from here is if you just go down to say I want my chest right here you're just gonna go ahead and place actually I'll just put the chest over here so what you're gonna do is just place your chest have the hoppers go down and then have them lead up to your ch geez, up to your chest so from here to there just like so you could probably do that in a more efficient way. I'm not really trying to uh, save materials for the 
fact I'm in creative, but that's pretty much what you're gonna want to do for that. Um, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna cut here real fast and come back to you guys when you when I'm gonna be building the platform for all the chickens. So uh, be right back. All right, and we're back here at the platform. So what I basically did is I went from the back of my dispenser. I counted one, two, three, four, five, six. That matches up there, and I went up to the same level as it, and then I went one, two, three, four, five, six, and I did the same thing to the other side. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, now since these things, these uh, platforms here match up, I'm gonna want to go from seven, seven blocks from here to here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I want to start my platform right here. So we'll have an even number right here. And then what I want to do is since this is one, two, three across, I'm going to want to go one, two, three here, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And I want to have a glass wall right here. I mean, you can do this with any block. I'm just saying this is probably going to help the most. Um, this is a little different from the one I did on the server. I only have one of the rooms on the server, but this is probably the most efficient way you can possibly have a uh, farm going. But anyways, so you just want to fill this in with the walls here, and then put in where those, these bricks are right here. You're going to want to fill that in with, uh, hoppers underneath it, so take your, already have hoppers, so just take your hoppers down, have one so it goes down to here and have the other ones that lead two into there and this one can lead into either one it doesn't matter so once you have that you're gonna want to have a the blocks go around it and then you want to fill this in with any one of your blocks that you like I'm just gonna fill this in with glass so you can see a lot easier um, each of these actually with the hoppers there you're gonna want to put uh, signs just above the hoppers so uh, the water streams that are pushing the chickens, you won't have to worry about. Like you don't have to worry about them going down the center here. So if I just put water here, the uh, it'll stay over top of the sign. So I'm just gonna finish up putting up this wall, like such. It, you don't have to put a roof over it, but it is recommended because you don't know if they're going to be able to get out or not because, well, they're chickens, so you can never trust them. And any other mobs that might fall in here might have an issue to this. So just, you should probably put a roof over it. But that's pretty much all you want to have here. Um, actually, I'm just going to put a roof over this one real fast. So once you have those water streams going, what you want to do is hopefully you'll have... A breeded cell of chickens already or a bunch of chicken eggs because I can tell you now it's gonna be a pain to go in here and just breed chickens because they're gonna be all swarming around you and you have their uh, weed out and it's just gonna be a pain so just finish up with this and you're gonna want to do the same to all four other ones you can do more if you want but I'd rather just use four so you don't get too much lag but after I have that, I'm going to spawn in all the chickens that I'm going to need. So as you can see here, all the uh, chickens are going straight into the center here because the water is pushing them in. It's good to have a lot. You could make this cage a little bit bigger so you can fit some more chickens in, but it's up to you really. This, this is a pretty decent size for it right now. But after you have the chickens in there, you're just going to want to connect the hoppers directly into that. But that is still not the end of it. Um, I'm going to cut and come back to you guys when I have all these other three ones built. So I will be right back. Alright guys, I am back. I um, have all four of these things built. So now what we're going to do to uh, connect them is take your hoppers and go from here and just go out to about here right nope one more there you go now what you're gonna want to do is have hoppers going out about that much and just have them connected to each and every single one of these uh oh, I have this one going off in a different location all right just have them connected all around just like such 
So each and every single one of these eggs will end up inside of these hoppers and taken into the main dispenser right here. Now, what you're probably wondering is, well, they're loading into the dispenser right now, but nothing's happening. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna basically wanna make the exact same thing right here. You're gonna take your comparator, which I probably should have kept in my inventory, <laughs> and two hoppers, and that's about it. Just, oh, right, and one, um, one item that's useless to you, just a chicken egg. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna keep making this pulse go on and off, which is just gonna send a single pulse to this, which will shoot any egg that will go in there. See, now it's already spawning chickens. So what this torch basically does is it holds the item in pot in place. So when I push this button, it takes that item and puts it right into here. And by the time it's in here, this torch will turn back on, but the item still has to go back. So it'll go back in there and stay in there, which will only have time to set a two pulse delay or two pulses on that thing, which will then just uh, trigger the lava like such. And as you can see, it doesn't kill the uh, adult chickens. And this thing is just going to keep going even when you're not online. And now, let's see here, say... Say you just AFK'd here on your single player or a server that you were just playing on and you were wanting to come back to find a lot of food there so what you're gonna do is those chickens will stay spawned in but while they're spawned in there is are still growing but it's probably gonna cause a quite a bit of lag so I don't necessarily you might not want to stay on every so often like like as much as that like maybe if you're building something on your house and you've been doing it for a while and all these guys might have grown up then you could probably do that or another way that you could do this that it's some things might burn like in the lava but what you could do is keep the this thing right this like that but instead of having that like that you can just take some redstone you don't even need a comparator for this you can just take some redstone and hook up a daylight sensor to the uh dispenser so whenever day comes online this will always stay on, and the chickens, when they grow up, they'll burn and die. Which is one way you could do it for AFKing, but I personally would rather have the button because I'm gonna get a more, it's more trustworthy. Like, I'm definitely gonna get all the food that is gonna be dropped for it. I can trust that, and I'm not gonna have to worry about. Well, I should probably fix that. About, like, a bunch of the lag or anything. Not lag, but, like, just a bunch of stuff, you know, if your house is made out of wood and then just the wood lights, you're, you're screwed. Um, no. Who's used to own forums? Bad chickens. Yeah, that's probably something I didn't want to do. Alright, now, let's go right here. That in. Oh, that'll blow. Jeez. Okay, well, there's now a bucket in there somewhere. Actually, that bucket probably is going to end up in this chest. Yep. So let's see here. Let's see. Come on, chickens, grow up. I mean, this is if you're far ahead in, this, in the game and you're just wanting to no longer have to worry about food and stuff, you can just go ahead and do this. Now, as you see here, chickens are lagging out the side. They're not actually lagging out. It's just the uh, game glitching. So that's that's nothing to worry about. It's just a little game glitch. They see all the adult chickens in there and the baby chickens. I'm going to hit this button. It's going to pop out the lava. They're all going to start burning. They all die. All those items just got retracted into that hopper. They're all being dragged into here. Feathers and everything. And say if you idle there and the eggs skip put into there, you can go around to the back side of this, which I do recommend having a um, like a, some sort of ladder walkway for you to get up here. So you can just walk down the center and make sure all these things are okay, nothing's broken with them or destroyed. But after you have that, with the... Jesus, what was I just saying? I'm pulling a blank. <laughs> 
Oh, actually, that's pretty much the spawner. Oh yeah, but with the eggs, was what I was saying. It's if you have the eggs, because each whenever these chickens grow up, they're gonna be laying eggs too. So just take all the eggs they lay out of the chest and just walk around, throw them into the hoppers. But you're not gonna have to do that very so often. I mean, you can keep them and just go throw them at your friends and screw around with them. Actually, you can prank your friends with them by just laying a bunch of chickens inside his house to see what they would do for that. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. It's probably one of the best chicken farms you can make that are like not complicated like at all so i hope you guys enjoy um please like comment subscribe i would appreciate it uh, i'll see you guys on my next recording uh thanks peace